Well, hello and welcome from Cornwall. And here's what's coming up. Well, today I'm on the coastal path on the way to Polpero, and it's about a mile along this beautiful walk. Although it's a walk, guess what? Mel is with me. Ah! And why are you with me? Because oh. there's a chance of. I could not doubt. Yeah, a Cornish pasty. Oh, cream tea? Cream tea, Cornish pasty. Ice cream? Let's walk to the village okay. and see if we can get a Cornish snack. Ready? Yeah. Go. Let's go. How are you coping now? That wasn't a bad walk, was it, Mel? It's okay. And we've just made it into the village itself and the little harbour. And the sun is trying to come out. It's quite warm though, isn't it, Mel? Yeah. There's a sign there saying, do not feed the birds. And if you look at the boats in the harbour, you can see why. <laughs> look at the state on those. So we're in Polpero in Cornwall. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. So that must be time for a cream tea. Where else do you have a cream tea at 11 a.m.? It's arrived. These look lovely. They're all warm and fresh. Excuse the noise, there's somebody <laughs> reversing the vehicle about a mile down the road. I stopped. So what's this? Cream or jam on first? That's the debate everyone has, isn't it? No, it's always jam first. I don't agree. I don't agree. Because when you have like uh, jam and butter, you put the butter on, then the jam, don't you? Mm. And to me, the cream replaces the butter layer. That's my logic. That's a Devon one, isn't it? I don't care what one it is. That's and the, I think a Cornwall is jam first. That's the Porth Core one. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. Or you can just shovel it in one go. What do you do, <laughs> viewers? Oh, I'll just mix it all up and shove it in my gob. That's the question. What would you do? <laughs> anyway. Can I eat it now? Yeah, Mel's desperate to get Thank into you. the scones. Mm. Well, the jam's going on first. I go I go Ooh, I, I, think think that cream is. I think that's enough actually. 
Oh. Oh, I <laughs> Is it good? Mm. What's your breakfast? Mm. You have to have uh, cream tea and Cornwall for breakfast. Yeah. It's the law. What a mess you're making a mess. Not making a mess. You've got the cream on top again. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Just jamming in your... Don't lick the knife. That's disgusting. You did that in public. Where do you think you are? Am I going to use that knife now? There she goes. And we're at the wheelhouse, mm. a little cafe by the harbour in Polpero. Definitely recommended, very warm. Mel recommends. Mm. So two scones with jam and cream and a cup of tea is eight pounds. And we had another cup of as well, so it's not that bad. We're like in an episode of Beyond Paradise, aren't we? <laughs> mm. Little twee village. We have cream tea for breakfast. And a heart attack for tea. <laughs> I can't eat another thing, Mel. I'm completely stuffed. Not even a wafer thin mint. Oh, I've got cream on my face. <laughs> she can't take me anywhere. There's somebody eyeing up my cream tea. No, mate, you're not getting any. Update. Nice cream tea. Mel's going shopping and I'm going for a little boat. Right. No, wait for me. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so, as I was saying, after the cream tea, Mel's going shopping and I've opted to go on a half an hour boat cruise around Polpero and the neighbouring bays. Beginning to think, was a boat trip the best thing to do after a cream tea? But it is quite calm. Actually, it's not too bad. The sun's coming out and it is quite calm. Although I would like to do this in any sort of swell. Cream tea didn't come back to haunt me. So, Mel, mm -hmm. I survived. Yeah, it was hard. Like wasn't a it? brave seafarer, I returned to the land. To be welcomed by my sweetheart. Oh, I got you a present. Have you? Yeah. A Cornish pasty? No, I got what? you a present. What? Anything? Yeah, go on. What are those? Sherbet lemons. Oh, sherbet lemons. Mel spotted the pasties. Oh, they gone. They went really quickly. The traditional Cornish ones. Oh, smell the smell. Mm. 
Look at that name. And it's not even Welsh. Mel, I think I found a Cornish pasty for you. Mm -hmm. The right size. Oh, yes. What are they? Cornish pasties. They're not real Cornish pasties, are they? Like a... Toy. A toy? Yeah. What do they call them in America? Plushies. A plush Cornish pasty. So we're here on a Tuesday afternoon just before the bank holiday. So the kids are still at school. And it's quite quiet, isn't it? But I was talking to those people by the calf when we had the cream tea. Mm -hmm. They were here on Sunday. They said they couldn't move. Yeah. There are lots of places to eat and get snacks. But I think it's compulsory that everyone has to sell a Cornish pasty. It's the local bylaw. So cream tea, sherbet lemons, and now a pasty. Mel's gone to get me a pasty. Is that like marker? Mm. What have you got there? Cheese and onion, is it? Like not a traditional one. No. I don't eat the meat in it. Is it nice? Got some? Mm. Mm. Well, Mel, I was saying, mm -hmm. we had the cream tea, mm -hmm. we had the sherbet lemons, mm -hmm. and now the Cornish pasty. But it's a healthy diet. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> the pebbles are being married to a YouTuber. It fills me every mouthful of food. Close up. Mm. Go on, in you go. Thank you. Censored. I'm feeling a bit stuffed. I don't know. I don't know about you, Mel, but I'm feeling slightly stuffed. I'm not. <laughs> we shared, didn't we? Yeah. We shared a cream tea. We shared past it. But you still. And, and calories on holiday don't count. So that was our short trip to Polpero. You enjoy Mel? I did. Yeah. Lots of nice food options. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't see much of the town. We did walk here though. <laughs> we did walk here, yeah. We did do a, a couple of miles walk to get here in the first place. But anyway, we'll see you in another video coming up next. Bye.